Just when you thought it was safe to submit an idea to your employer, hold on. Before you do, read The Anatomy of a Corporate Lynching, Updated Edition, and Avoid the Great White Sharks. Available on Amazon Worldwide. And hear the audiobook featuring a cast of actors delivering the facts exclusively at fourthfordbooks.com. So Candace Owens has been, you know, being on the story with Patrice Colors. Now, you remember Patrice Colors and Black Lives Matter has been exposed of uh, stealing a lot of money. You know, definitely raising a lot of money in the name of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, you know, many, many names over the years. And recently, as they raised $90 million during the time of George Floyd, everybody asked a question, what happened to the money? The money's missing. Find out they buying, you know, mansions and all kind of things like that. Well, Patrice Cullors, you know, she stepped down from Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation and she went into hiding to a point and she has surfaced with a video. Um, she surfaced with a video because Candace Owens was at her front door. And I want you to hear exactly what she said that Candace Owens done to her. And then, um, you know, Candace is definitely going to respond to her uh, right then and there while she's literally making a scene on Instagram. Let's go ahead and roll that. The right wing media and right wing pundits are creating a cr incredibly and have created an incredibly dangerous environment for me. Um, this morning, I woke up to Candace Owens being outside of my house with a news crew. Um, she was demanding that I come outside. Um, and uh, when I looked at the video recording of what she was asking about, she was actually asking about the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation property. Uh, and for some reason, it seems like she thought my house was that. Um, it's unacceptable and it's dangerous that anybody, any stranger come outside of my house, but it's really unacceptable and dangerous when Candace Owens, another black woman who is actually working as a part of a right wing agenda comes outside of my house with cameras. Um, as you all know, I've experienced and many of us have experienced death threats. Um, many of us are chil have children. Um, many of us are um, uh, super vulnerable. And uh, the fact that she's came outside my house and demanded things harassed me uh, is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. And I'm going to keep doing the work I need to do to make sure that I'm in right relationship with my community, but I'm not gonna let the right wing and right wing pundit, pundits and media try to drive me against my community and have the community driven against me. I'm begging and pleading with all of you all to pay attention to what's happening to me and to many other people many other leaders inside of this movement pay attention to what's happening because what happened to me today has the potential to open up a floodgates, the floodgates of many other right-wing people that may next time be bearing arms, that may next time be more violent. This is unacceptable. Black people should be able to fight for our rights, for our right to live without being harassed without being, um, fe without fearing for our lives, without having people, strangers show up to our private and personal property. I am, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm still in shock. Um, thank God I called obviously my team, um, Thank God for, for community, for black community, for black movement community here in Los Angeles. Um, I just, 
I just really, really, like, y'all, I really need my family to be safe. I need to be safe. I need my child to be safe. And this, this, what happened this morning is not safety. It's not what I deserve. It's not what any of us deserve. So just be diligent when you see shit in the media. And you see shit that's being talked about. Please be diligent. Because they are purposefully doing this. They are purposefully building a wedge between black people. Because they know that when we are together, we're stronger. And they've seen what we've done this last decade. Okay, so this is insane. In real time right now, I am watching uh, Patrice Colors do a live claiming that I went to her property and demanded to speak to her. Um, and she's, I, I, I only way I can describe it is she sounds like she's really scared. Um, we're working on a documentary talking about all the funding pertaining to Black Lives Matter. Obviously, we know that Patrice and a lot of the founders purchased million dollars home, million dollar homes in white neighborhoods. Uh, they also purchased a Black Lives Matter property. So we went to the property and asked if there was anyone that we could speak to. Very politely, by the way, we've got cameras in tow. So there's no way she can. It's all on camera. And we just said, is there anyone we can speak to? Nobody asked us to leave. Um, the person went inside. It was just a white man that we saw outside that was providing security, which is super interesting because obviously. Patrice here is anti-police and so she's oh my god I think she's crying on this live pretending that she was harassed we like I said very politely to the guys or anyone we can speak to um, my name's Candace Owens we never went over the gate it was just me ringing a doorbell trying to speak to someone he said absolutely nothing he started just recording us and we said okay if there's no one we can speak to we're gonna leave um Patrice is pretending to be scared because she knows that this black lives matter lie is falling apart um and she doesn't know what to do i mean people are aware of the scam that is black lives matter she's intentionally limited the comments so you can't even comment on this post because i was going to comment and be like this is a complete lie and we have it all on camera in terms of what happened so what you are seeing right now is the face of a woman who is pretending she's afraid of right-wing pundits when in reality she's being exposed as a fraud who took millions used the faces of black people took millions of dollars to fund herself to fund her lifestyle to fund her girlfriend and to buy million dollar mansions in neighborhoods where no black people live so patrice um this footage that we this story that we're covering is a, a significant one i have always been interested in the fraud that is black lives matter your fake tears your crocodile tears about someone politely ringing your gate and speaking to your white security guard and and asking if there was anyone that i could talk to because i was covering the story um not really going to cut it patrice this is only going to commit me further to discovering the truth about what you have done with this funding black people died you used their faces to raise money you demanded that the policing be stopped. You demanded that police officers be defunded, but you've got a private security detail um, outside of million dollar homes. It just doesn't work this way, sweetheart. So um, the truth shall set you free or Candace Owens shall set you free, girl, because I'm about to tell the truth. All right, we're still filming. Bye. Now for me, that that's kind of funny, you know, with Candace Owens. Now we know with Candace, you know, a broken uh, clock can be right twice a day. Um, with asking these questions, I'm gonna have to be with Candace on this one. Um, when she says something about, you know, she's saying about black this and black that, but then Candace say, well, you all in the white neighborhood, you know, and black people know what near this. So why are you mentioning black this and black that, you know? And then she says she had a white security guard. So yeah, I mean, it is, it's, 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 it's quite interesting that, that, uh, these people with black lives matter have gotten away with this stuff for so long. It's just, it's just very, very interesting. But, you know, most black people, I will say, do not support Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation. Um, we, we know that was infiltrated a very long time ago. It is not about black people. It's a, it's a, it's a front group uh, for LGBT. We show that a lot of the money went to LGBT and trans and different organizations. It didn't go nowhere near any black organizations or groups who's out there talking about things. Um, I will say this much, 
you know, you have a lot of people in the new black media is out here that that's really fighting hard for black people. Black lives matter didn't give nobody at all in, in new black media, any money. They didn't give us nothing. I mean, if black lives matter really about something. They would say, Hey, you know, brother Phil, let me go ahead on and, and, and t- lace you up. And let me lace, you know, uh, sister Vicky up and let me lace this one up. Let me make sure you give all y'all something so y'all can keep going and fighting for black people. That's, that's what black lives matter was supposed to do. Then let me make sure to, to, to support, you know, the people that's doing new black media now, you know what I'm saying? No, no, that's not what they wanted to do. Cause that's not who they were about. They didn't even want to get, they didn't give money to people that was even on the ground. They didn't give them no money. So they can continue to do the things that they need to do. They was coming out of their own pocket and taking risk and all of that and, and, and battling these race soldiers and all of that. But, but Patrice colors, and, and, and her, her wife, and I'm using that with air quotes, um, is, is laid up in, in, in some mansion somewhere. You know, that, that's, that's what they're doing. All kind of dirt going on. Now, of course, right now they in a lot of trouble, but I just think, you know, this was, was very funny. And I, I will say this, Candace, like I say, shoot, you stay, stay on, stay on the neck, Candace. I'm with you on this one, Candace. I, I support you with what you got going on this time, Candace. Stay on her neck. Don't don't let her breathe, Candace. Don't let her breathe. Find find that money, Candace. You find it. You, you find every dime and let me know where that, that money at, Candace. Cause uh I wanna know too. I wanna know. Now I ain't got that kind of time to chase them down. Cause I didn't I didn't give Black Lives Matter nothing. Not at all. But, you know, find that money, Candace. I, I I'm with you hundred percent. And um this Patrice Colors female, like I say, it's it just amazing. The grift, the grifting, and she's still trying to hustle. You know, she feels so bad for her. You wouldn't cry when you were spending that money. You wouldn't cry in. Now you're crying because Candace someone's knocking on your front door. You're crying because of that? Come on now. I, I thought you was Black Lives Matter. You go toe to toe the race soldiers, and you scared of Candace at the door? And you sent a white man to go deal with her? You know, but you're supposed to be Miss Blackity Black, Black, Black? Come on now. That doesn't make sense. But, you know, y'all let me know what y'all think about, you know, uh, Patrice Colors and Candace here. You know, I, I think it's funny. But, yeah, Candace, to stay on her head. I, I support you 100%.